welcome back to our delightful care home in the village of Dellington near Banbury. In this episode you'll find out why it's important for care home residents to reminisce about their past and join one of our residents as they reminisce about their fascinating time working in India many years ago. Our team will also help you explore our historic building by sharing their favourite parts of Featherton House. In the last 18 months, we've invested a great deal of time, effort and care into improving our home. With all of the major works now complete, we have now moved on to the finishing touches. Most recently, we have redesigned and replanted the borders around the front of our home. We have worked with a professional garden designer to ensure that you are met with a beautiful display each time you arrive at Featherton House. Music plays a big part in the life of Featherton House. Our residents just love to sing and dance along to their favourite songs. Under normal circumstances, we have a variety of entertainers who would visit our residents. And during visiting restrictions, residents have continued to enjoy their performances virtually via Zoom. Well, now they can also enjoy a sing-along whenever they feel like it, thanks to our new karaoke machine. So far, it has gone down a storm with Frank Sinatra Classics top of the bill. So over the next few episodes, we will help you discover some of the daily activities our residents get to enjoy. Our activities are designed to keep minds and bodies active and to improve the health and well-being of all. This time we're going to be looking at the importance of sharing happy memories. So this is Rachel Freeman, our Deputy Manager. So Rachel, reminisce isn't something you'll hear a lot when looking after care home activities and so forth. What is it and why is it so important for our residents? I think it's important so they can tell us uh, all about their lives. I mean, they've had some very interesting lives. A lot of them have, um, you know, and it and it brings smiles to their faces. And you know, it's happy memories. A lot of them, and I just think that they enjoy telling us their stories, their life stories. So, what kind of activities help the residents to reminisce? Um, we uh, we play music. Music can be a big big part of um, activities. Um, it brings back memories from when they used to go dancing to, you know, if during the war there's certain songs that were playing, um, and even to when they were married, you know, the songs that they played at their weddings. Um, and also we use props, um, so we've got um, like a washboard and an old broom and things, just get it out so people can tell us how they used to do these jobs and, you know, about when they left school early, you know, a lot of them left school quite early and had to go to work. Um, it's just very interesting, their whole lives are very interesting. So kind of, what do you like most about doing the reminiscence with with residents? Um, it's, it's seeing their facial expressions, that, you know, the smiles and the giggles and, you know, they're just, the, just where they look happy sharing their life experiences. And I think you've had some people telling some interesting holiday stories and travel stories. Yeah, we had one lady, we were talking about holidays, where they like to go. Um, some of them made it down to the beach, some of them made it to the bottom of the garden to an orchard and put a blanket over the tree and that was their holiday. So the, the different holidays are really interesting. Mm -hmm. We're also using a lot of books and stuff, don't we? Yeah, books from Deddington. We've got a local book from Deddington History Book. Um, we've got some from a couple of the other villages where the residents come from. And, you know, they tell us about the books. We don't know what the history is, and they can tell us, so that's really nice. So it's really good, and it's a, it's really happy times to um, get to know people, really, and, and understand where they come from. Yeah, their lives are so interesting, and, you know, a lot of the staff just love to sit and listen to the stories. You know, they're just amazing stories. Now that we have helped you understand more about reminiscence in care homes and why it's great for residents, join us as we reminisce with Featherton House resident Geoffrey. Geoffrey is one of our newest residents and has been telling us about his fascinating life, like when his job took him on an adventure to India. After eight weeks, things were going quite nicely and uh, the boss man come along to me and said, well now Mr. Hillman, his name was Mr. Mr. Nars, I think he was. He was he's a multi-engineer, a multi-millionaire. Uh, and uh, he had a cable making plant 
you had the die casting, pressure die casting plant, all, all on the same site. And he was a rich man. And he came to me and he said, well, now, part of your contract, he said, we've got to send you on, uh, on a week's holiday. Where would you like to go? I said, oh, I haven't a clue. I said, I've only been here a few weeks and I don't know the country. I haven't a clue about the country. Well, he said, go back to your hotel and discuss it with Mr. Lewis. So I went back and I phoned Peter and I told him what was going on. And he said, oh, that's handy, he said. My wife, Betty, and I and the kids, we're going up to Darjeeling. He said, for a week's holiday, he said, next weekend, get him to book your flight in the hotel and have a week in Darjeeling with us. Which was nice, you know. Anyway, we got to Darjeeling and then the hotel had made a mistake and I hadn't got a room. Oh, what we're going to do, what we're going to do. Anyway, um, it finished up. I was going to have bed and breakfast with a, a, a widow lady. It was a, the widow of a tea planter. <laughs> Strangely enough, I'll never ever forget her name. It was Annie Oakley. <laughs> and uh, so she gave me a bed and and, and, and breakfast and uh, it was lovely. It was nice. I liked it. I liked it better than a hotel. It wasn't so formal. And uh, so that went well. And then we went... Uh, up into the mountains, well, up into the mountains, up into the foothills. We got up four o'clock one morning to go and see Everest. And uh, when we got there, it was still dark. And as it got light, the, the guide man, he, he took us in the Land Rover. He said, we're not going to see Everest today, it's covered in cloud. But I'll take you to another viewing point, which was K2. And he said, uh, when you see it, it'll come out of the mist, and the, the, like a rainbow, only it'll be flat. And he said, it'll gradually appear. He said, it's 76 miles away. And uh, you'll get a good view of it from here. And sure enough, I couldn't believe it. This mountain, he came out of the mist. I know, it felt as if you could touch it. It was a massive thing. And, and I, I, I really enjoyed that. You can learn more about Jeffy's fascinating story on the Featherton House Facebook page or on our YouTube channel. minute the lounge with the new chairs they're lovely to sit on the kitchen it's got to be the kitchen um i love Featherton house because it is unique it, you know the way it looks um you know that it doesn't look like your average home it looks more of a home your own home rather than a care home um with unique little bits and beams and brickwork and things it's just very unique the kitchen it's got food. <laughs> yeah, I think the dining room's lovely because at lunchtime everyone's in there and the music's on, it's quite lovely and all together, yeah. The residents, all of the residents, they're all great. Uh, my shared, I can get away from everyone. <laughs> <laughs> It has been another busy couple of weeks of keeping everyone safe and healthy, making Featherton House even more appealing and having lots of fun with our residents. Once again, a huge thank you for taking the time to find out more about our care home and I hope you will join us in two weeks time when we will show you how we make sure our residents stay well hydrated and how we make it fun. 
and we'll show you how we have made our dining room one of the most beautiful places to have dinner in Deddington. If you would like to inquire about living at Featherton House or would like to book a virtual tour, simply email us at the address below. See you next time.